Hi everyone, Anthony Fantano here, internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review. Blah, 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 blah. Let's try not to take ourselves too seriously, shall we? Okay. Parquet Quartz, Light Up Gold. These guys are a rock quartet of Texan musicians who have made their way to New York City to put out their first big full-length album, Light Up Gold. It's coming out this month on a label, a small label, that is run by the band's frontman, Andrew Savage, Dull Tools. And Andrew Savage, you may know, from his songwriting and vocal contributions to other b b bands and projects like Teenage Cool Kids, Ferguson Geronimo, who also have a new album out on Hardly Art. And if you take a listen to this thing, you're pretty much going to get one track after another of artsy, stripped-down poet punk. I like the production on this thing. It's simple, it's basic, but it's got a lot of grit to it. And it shows the band really kind of jamming these songs out together in the raw. Or at least that's what it feels like. The guitars have a kind of rough quality when they're just hitting those downstroked chords. And when they're playing leads, there's a really nice twang to them too, that I like a really sharp twanginess. Twang. The drums are really lean, they're really punchy, fast, and together with the guitars, they really kind of drum up a wire or a feelies or like a Devo kind of quality. It's just a lot of punk and post-punk with some southern, western, Americana tendencies. With a few sonic exceptions, like the track North Dakota, which is like really slow, dreary, kind of a tired song, or Stoned and Starving, which I believe, if I am remembering correctly, is the longest song on here. It's five minutes, and it's kind of a, a jam for them. Or the tracks Caster of Worthless Spells, or The Closer, which feature a lot of reverb on the vocals, which does bring a different quality to the, to the album, to the string of tracks, but I really didn't care for the effect on the vocals. I thought it kind of took a little bit of personality away from what they were doing. So you do kind of get this musical and sonic variety. There's a lot of vocal variety on this thing too, but Adam Savage usually brings that to his, his projects. You have high-pitched wails and whines, like on the track Yonder is Closer to the Heart, which actually kind of gives the song an evaporator's like quality. On songs like The Opener, Master of My Craft, he kind of hangs around his mid-range, and I absolutely love songs like North Dakota, where he delivers that really low-pitched deadpan that is just, ah, man, and, and, and. It's just got a really potent mood to it. For the most part, the vocals are on point. There are a few tracks where I feel like they, they kind of weave in and out of pitch, and not really in an endearing way, a lot like the song No Ideas. And there are some tracks on here that do come off a bit too repetitive, a lot like Tears O' Plenty. I know a lot of tracks on here have repetitious qualities, but I guess I just like the, the riffs or the melodies in some songs more than others, and that's what kind of makes me attracted to the repetition of some songs and, and just not really others. Others, 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 others. The one to two minute quirky, cynical, very energetic and minimal post-punk and punk tunes on here really shoot for mood and message. Like on the track Master of My Craft, the opener on here, which is kind of about a really pretentious but successful person who sort of seems to be just enveloped in their own success and where it's brought them and how they kind of see everybody else as being beneath them. And they really paint a funny character of, of this person. This track glides, just segues right into the next, and I like that. I wish that happened more often on this LP. On some tracks, there are just really big gaps, some things that just aren't really connecting, but the first third of this album just but after this opener, the track Borrowed Time kind of <laughs> sings about the lighter side of, of being bored and apathetic, but also kind of pining to be more inspired. And the track Donuts Only is kind of like this one minute musical monologue that describes a, a setting somewhere in Texas, exaggerating the qualities of this place to kind of make it seem really weird and, and alien and different, like you can't get 
bagels there, communion songs paired with light beer, and in a church people are wearing robes that are sewn together by their closest relatives in this really tiny town. Parquet courts kind of head down the same lyrical road with the track North Dakota, painting this picture of just mundaneness and deterioration and just urban squalor. Their tracks on here are about a funeral service, the joys of being both high and hungry, and the last track on here is a bit of a reprise, which I imagine is kind of personal, singing about maybe the storyteller that's been kind of spinning these yarns throughout the entire album, growing old. I really do like the lyrics on this thing. There are some moments where I don't really connect with a story or get all that much out of it. Still, most of what is being told here is told well, and with a lot of oomph. I can't say all too much that's negative about this LP, and yet, I can only praise it so much too, you know? I'm feeling a, a decent, a strong seven on this thing. What did you guys think of it? If you've listened to it, did you like it? Hate it? Why? And what should I review next? Thanks for watching. Remember, the good comment, the great rate, and only the strong, Subscribe, Parquet Courts, forever.